Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn on how to uh, we'll make the screen shaking effect when we're going Super Saiyan or something. Something like that, okay? So, uh, how do you do that? Well, first thing you want to do, so if you remember the last video where we had this local script. So like this local script, we want to add something to it. So let's add um, a value. What value do we want to add? Well, two values, um, a bool value and an So, uh, a bool value, and then add in this bool value or integer value. And so it's not confusing. Uh, let's give this a name. So we call this is shake. And then here we call this a uh, shake in ten. Intensity, intensity, shake intensity. Okay, so yeah, that's how it's gonna work. So then, also at the same time, we're going to make um in the local script, we're gonna make a uh, a line of code that will make the shaking. So first, let's the first thing we want to do is grab get these as values. So, uh, is shake is equal to script dot is shake, then local shake intensity, shake intensity is equal to, uh, is shake, wait, no, whoops, is shake. Dot shake intensity. So, and under this uh, use input service, let's add a game get service run run service dot render stepped connect function open and close brackets. And then, in here, we want to check if if is shake dot value is if shake dot value this basically means uh if the value is true then the screen should shake so uh, how do we implement shaking well first let's get the camera local cam mirror uh, equals game dot workspace dot current server I mean current camera and then camera dot wait nope 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 right after that we're gonna add uh, the randomization local x equals um math dot random uh and then right here so in math dot random we're gonna add a negative then shake intensity dot value and then we're going to add a positive shake intensity dot value so there so yeah and the, also the reason why we added shake intensity so you can change the shake shaking intensity also we're going to divide this by zero i mean i mean 100 so so uh if you got 90 it's going to be divided by zero and then I mean, divided by 100, and that would equal to uh, 0.9. So, right now, I'm just going to make the default value 10. And then, we'll do the same thing for the Y. We need a random Y position, too. So, there. And then, and then camera dot C frame equals camera dot C frame equals Wait, no, 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 time C frame dot new. And then we put on uh, X and Y. So, let's, I'll tell you how this works again. So, basically, this is our values. This is going to help us, like, when we in the module script where we can actually just check if the code is actually, I'll show you what I mean. 
So if you understand how this code works, if you don't, just follow along, okay? So yeah, and also shake intensity is used to increase the how like how intense will the screen shake. If it's a low number, it'll just shake a bit. And then okay, so right after that, we want to go to our module script, and so in our transformation, this is for the server side. Let's make it for a client side version. But client. A client transformation transformation equals function so we're still going to need uh, we just we still would want our character but we also want to add like an extra value we also want to add is mode Is mode okay so and then we're also gonna add uh, the shake so uh, so what we're gonna pass in in the shake is this so then we can uh, in change the shaking animation I mean the shaking through this uh, function here so let's copy this word go back into the log local script we don't need script service I mean, no, 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 I mean, we're just going to close script. Okay, uh, right after that, I also forgot in the last video that we should have a debounce. So, uh, basic debounce is equal. Let's call this false. Then, if db Wait, no, uh, if db is equal to false, then shouldn't do anything. So if db is equal to true, then this code won't run, but if db is equal to something. So let's make it at first db to equal to true. And then at the end of this code right here, db should equal to false again. Now, uh, now we also need to get the module script or require the module script through the code. So, uh, how you can do that? Let me go copy a piece of code on uh, the scripts service because. So this is how we got our transform module. So uh, let's put this under um, user input service. So, uh, so let me wait. Let me check this again. So uh, we got the player stats transformed. Transform that value. Why is this? So um, it looks like we don't have, we have an unknown. Uh, we can just do wait for child. Okay, so when, so this will work, okay? So transform module. So now we got our transform module, we can do this. Get the transform module dot client transformation. If we remember, if this is how we spelled it correctly. Uh, so this is module client transformation right there. Yeah, that will work. So there's client transformation over there, just right there. So the next thing we want to is to pass in a cat, the player character. So we can go char equals player dot character char. But then we can add a. Then we can add a. What is it? Oh yeah. We need to add in is shake. Oh yeah, and the cool thing about client 
about this uh, thing we just added here is that we can also make like how the D bounce or the cooldown. So if this mode, by the way, by the way, in here, like it's going to be a little bit reverse. So if we want to check if the uh, if it's about to transform or it needs to transform, then it's actually going to be equals to true. Um, let's make it. It's not mode, so it's more uh, so it makes sense. So yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Oh yeah, we forgot to add uh, the is mode. So yeah, now that will work. Now we can do this. Uh, shake dot value equals true. Then we can do wait five and then equals false equals false. And then right next to this, right under this, you can change the uh, intensity to like uh, value dot shake intensity dot value equals uh we can start with a 12 and then the cool thing about this is that we can make it gradually increase its shake intensity by 0 0.1 and then let's increase it to 25 and then wait 0 0.3 it's 40, then wait, 0 0.1, now it's suddenly uh, 90, which is pretty high, and we can do another one more wait to turn off this uh, shaking, now not only that, so what I mean about this debounce, what this does is basically if we uh, add some weight functions here, so let's see how long, so this is uh, a 6, 0 0.6, so we are going to basically wait for 0 0.6 seconds until we can uh, transform again. This That's the really cool thing here about this. So uh, now I think this is uh, done, so let's test the game. Hello guys, uh, one more thing, I, I accidentally did a little small mistake as I accidentally added T. I'm not sure when I did that, but yeah, just remove that and then boom, the code's back working. So let's, as soon as we see the shaking, I think our code is ready. Oh yeah, in the next video, I'll talk about like, uh, animations, like, uh, transformation animations. So yeah, so in here, let's go. See? Oh, the screen shakes a bit, you see? Yeah. So there's uh, us chilling with Super Saiyan 3. It's quite bright here. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry about the graphics being a little low. I still forgot the lock key part. Uh, let me just increase the graphics. There. Do you like it? Uh, oops, why is my computer not liking this? Uh, I just tested this out here, it's not... It doesn't... Hey, never mind about this, so, uh... So, yeah, this, that's, uh, that's it for today. Uh, in the next video, if I do upload it, it's going to be about, uh, transformation animations, like the player animations. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy this video. Please leave a like and subscribe and share this video too.